hello everyone welcome back to the new video of easy tutorials today in this video you will learn how to make a website layout as you can see on my computer screen in the left column we have one image and in the second column you can see some feature listed with some icon in the last column there is one another image you can see there is one text in the background with very light color that is adding very beautiful effect on this website so before starting this video i will request you to please subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one now let's begin this tutorial this is my project folder and in this folder there are so many images that i will be using on this website now i will create one file and i will rename it as index.html let's open this file with text editor i am using brackets editor first let me zoom it so that you can see it clearly Now I am writing some basic HTML codes that is HTML open and close then head and in this head I will write title. So title I am writing how to make website easy tutorials. After title I will come to the body here I am writing body open and close. Now again come back to the folder and here we will create one another file that is CSS. So create a new file and rename it as style.css. Again open it with text editor. First I will write star margin 0 and padding 0. Now we will connect this HTML file with CSS for that I will write this code in HTML head link rel styles it href style.css simply duplicate it because we will add one bootstrap link also so simply remove this one style.css and come to the google and search for bootstrap cdn open this first url and from here we will copy this link just copy it and add it here that's it after adding this just come to the body and here we will create one div and the class name is hero. Now we need to create three columns so I will create one row it is a bootstrap class. To create three equal column we will use four grid in each column. So here I am using div class call md4 because we have 12 grid option in bootstrap so first i am using the 4 grid so simply i will duplicate it two times to create the three different column now come to the first one and in this div i am adding one image for that i am using image source and the image file name that is phone.png just save these changes come to the file open this html file with google chrome now you can see this image on this web page After that we will add one class name here for this image so I am using class phone img. Just copy this class name and come to the CSS file add it here and after that I will write height 450 pixel. Now you can see even small height. Now we have to shift it in the center for first column. So here I am adding one class name text center. It is a bootstrap class. Now you can see this phone is aligned in the center of first column. Let's copy this class name hero and come to the CSS file. Here we will write hero and margin top 8%. Now you can see some sprays from the top. Now we will come to the second column. In second column, first I will create one div and the class name is feature box. Again create one more div and the class name is logo box for the icon and 
next we will create one more div that is for description so here i am writing class name details box that will be feature detail so let's come to the logo box and here we will add one icon for that i am using img source and the file name that is correct.png this is my file name and in the detail box i will add some heading in h4 i am writing subscribe channel and one more text in p tag subscribe easy tutorials youtube channel to watch more videos press the bell icon to get immediate notification of new videos let's refresh this page and you can see this icon and this feature text let's copy this class name add it here logo box and for this one we will write width 20% and add it here again write img for this image width will be 40 pixel for this icon and margin left 35 pixel now you can see a small image let's come to html and copy this one detail box and add it into the css file write width 80 percent and padding 10 pixel 20 pixel after adding this we will copy this one feature box just add it into the css file and for this one we will write display inline flex that's it now again refresh this page now you can see this icon and feature text are aligned in the same line Simply select all these feature box and paste it again. Just replace the image file name and the title. This will be shared video. Let's copy it again and paste it here third time. We'll add the different image here network.png and title also join with us after refreshing this page you can see three different features with different icon now we'll come to the third column and in the third column also we will add one image for that i'm using image source and the image file name that's it let's refresh this page now you can see this is very big image we have to resize it so first we will add one class name here i'm writing class show img let's copy it and add it into the css file for this one we will write width 80 percent max height 400 pixel now you can see proper alignment for this image also right now you can see it is a scrolling from left to right okay to remove this we will copy this one row and add it here and for this row we will add margin zero important after refreshing you can see there is no horizontal scrolling here Let's open this web page in a small device. Now you can see we need some space below this image. For that, just come to this file. Here we will add margin bottom 30 pixel for this so image. Same thing, I will add it into the phone image also. That's it. Again, refresh this page. Now you can see proper spacing below this image. Right now this uh, image is not aligned in the center, this so image. 
for that here we will add one more class name that is bootstrap class text center that's it after refresh you can see this so image is also aligned in the center now we'll add one text in the background that will be displayed as a watermark so for that just uh, come to the html file after this div we will add one text in p tag and we will add one class name for this one i am writing watermark and this is the text fabulous after refreshing this page you can see this small text in the left side in the bottom let's use this class name watermark add it into the css file and uh, for this watermark we will add font size let's increase the font size 150 pixel and font weight also we will write 900 letters pressing 4 pixel color and some different color let's refresh this page and you can see this big text here let's add display block position absolute top 50 percent left 50 percent transform translate minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent this will align this text in the center right now you can see this text in the center but it is overlapping these text okay it is uh, hiding all these feature text for that we will add z index minus one now you can see this text is below this feature text now we'll add one more thing here we will add opacity 0.3 after refreshing this page you can see this text is displaying as a watermark with very light color once i will open this web page in a small device and you can see this background text is not looking good in the small device so what we will do we will remove this background text for a small device only so for that we will write one media only a screen and max width here we will write max width 720 pixel and let's copy this one watermark add it here and for this watermark display will be none it means when the device width is less than 720 pixel it won't display the background text so after adding this i will refresh this website and you can see there is no background text and once i will open this web page in full screen you can see this text like this you can easily create this type of attractive web pages using html css and bootstrap i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any doubt any question you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to like and share this video thank you so much for watching